You may have heard of the term six degrees of separation before. This theory explains how everyone is connected to everyone else in six steps or fewer. But did you know there's a similar theory called the three degrees of influence? It started off when a study followed around 5,000 participants for 20 years. The researchers found that if one person is happy, their friend was 15% more likely to be happy too. But it didn't stop there. A friend of a friend was 10% more likely to be happy, and even at three degrees of separation, there was still a statistically significant increase of 6%. Since then, other experiments have found the same rule applies for a variety of different things, including obesity, smoking, cooperative behavior, and loneliness. Take the example of cooperating. If you do a random act of kindness for someone else, that person will remember the gesture and next time they'll be more likely to help others. Then that next person will also become more likely to help someone. This process quickly becomes a cascade. So basically, your behaviors not only influence your friend, but your friend's friend's friend. On the other hand, this means that someone you don't even know could be subtly influencing your behavior too. All this means you should be very aware of who you hang around. Now, this isn't a strict rule. Not everything has three degrees of influence, but the general idea is that things ripple through a social network, and it's interesting to see just how far that ripple travels. On the other hand, what can you do to maximize the power of your social network? Well, this requires us to look at a different field of research. So let's say you're trying to find a new job. What's the best way to use your social network? Most people will try to build stronger relationships with the right person. I mean, the closer you are to that person, the more likely they'll be to help you out, right? Or maybe they'll ask their good friends if they know of any job availabilities. Basically, they'll rely on their strong ties. But in reality, it's those who are least connected to us that are most likely to help us out. This is all because of how social networks are shaped. You know the saying that birds of a feather flock together? Well, a review of over 100 different studies concluded that this is most definitely true. Notice how black people tend to hang around other black people, or how your group of friends come from a similar background? In fact, the factors which create the strongest divide is race, followed by age, religion, education, and occupation. Furthermore, the review also found that the more different you are from another person, the faster your relationship will dissolve. As a result, networks are often made up of clusters of like-minded people, linked together by acquaintances. These are called weak ties. Now, if you go out there and ask your strong ties for new jobs, they're going to be pretty similar to you. Similar age, similar background, and similar perspective. Therefore, they're more likely to have the same information as you do. Compare this to your weak ties. Sure, you're not as connected to them, and you don't get along as well. But this means they're probably part of a different network, they probably come from a different background, and hence they're more likely to have new information, such as where to get a job. As evidence, one study found that only 16% of people found their job through a person they were regularly seeing. The rest came from people who they only saw occasionally or rarely. In fact, you are almost twice as likely to get a job from someone you rarely spoke to compared to someone you were regularly contacting. This paradox was called the strength of weak ties. Now, this doesn't just apply to jobs. You can apply this to finding a new boyfriend or girlfriend. Obviously, if you ask your best friend to suggest you someone new, they're probably going to know the same people as you do. But when you talk to a weak tie, you're exposed to a whole nother network. In fact, with pretty much anything that involves the spread of information, it's better to go to the weak tie. So, while it's good to have close friends, don't neglect the power of weak ties, because they offer the most potential for change in your life.